Version 0.9.17 will feature two new branches of Swedish vehicles, improved premium tanks, remastered sound effects, and a special event dedicated to the New Year's celebration. Stay tuned for more. In version 0.9.17, players will see new branches of Swedish vehicles. The combined branch consisting of light, medium, and heavy tanks, and the branch of tank destroyers. Heavy tanks reside at the top tiers of the combined branch. The Swedish tanks look pretty similar to the French tanks, but don't be too quick to judge. They do have some distinctive features. Unlike the AMX 5100, the Swedish Tier 8 Emil 1 can boast better armor. In addition, the Emil's drum has a faster reload speed, but fewer shells. Its most distinctive features are its perfect elevation and depression angles, and its well-armored turret. This allows the tank to be effectively used for firing from behind hills. The heavy Emil II also differs from its French counterpart with stronger armor and improved elevation and depression angles. The strong suit of the AMX 5120 is its travel speed. However, the Swedish tank is one of the best vehicles among same tier tanks. The Kranwagen is the apex of the Swedish heavy tank branch. Similar to its predecessors, the Kranwagen also looks like its French counterpart. But again, it is the successor of another tier 10 heavy tank, the T57 Heavy. It is equipped with a well-armored turret and a drum-loading system. It boasts perfect elevation and depression angles, and a high movement speed. It is a real top tank. Its place is on the front line, teasing enemies with its turret, and finally unloading its drum at a well-chosen moment. It feels perfectly at home on the front line. Learn more about the Swedish heavy tanks in our special video. The branch of Swedish tank destroyers is really unique due to new mechanics for the top-tier vehicles. The key innovation is the use of hydro-pneumatic suspension. These vehicles have two play modes, travel mode and siege mode. The travel mode is intended to move the tank destroyers to various positions. It should be noted that the Swedish tank destroyers can move both forward and backward quickly. You can try to fire while in this mode, but due to the limited vertical and horizontal aiming angles, it will barely be effective. You need to switch to the siege mode to shoot efficiently. To do that, simply press the X key. It takes several seconds, but now the vehicle's characteristics are different. The gun is granted better aiming speed and accuracy, but most importantly, the vehicle can now freely aim both horizontally and vertically. Players will be able to experience the new mechanics starting from Tier 8. The distinctive feature of this tank destroyer, if compared to others, is that it is able to move the gun vertically. Roughly speaking, it kind of prepares players for a completely fixed gun. However, firing in the travel mode will be easier. This is quite the opposite with the STRV-1030, equipped with a gun that is literally fixed to the hull, which makes accurate aiming in the travel mode almost impossible. The top Swedish tank destroyer is the legendary STRV-1030. RV-103B. Like the Tier 9 vehicle, it is also equipped with a gun fixed to the hull, but unlike the previous vehicles, it has some unique advantages. First, it has improved armor. The STRV-103B is equipped with an anti-heat grid and a dozer blade, which serve as spaced armor. In addition, the armor plates are mounted at steep angles of inclination, which allows for plenty of ricochets. Second, and probably most crucial, it is hardly visible on the map. This tank destroyer can perfectly disguise itself among the terrain, which is quite surprising if judging by its tier. This capability is more common for vehicles two or even three tiers lower. Only the Swedish Tier 10 vehicle can boast this level of invisibility. The third advantage of the tank destroyer is its accuracy. No rocket science here. In the siege mode, the STRV-103B is the most accurate vehicle in the game. We continue to work on minimaps, and in version 0.9.17, we redesigned another seven. Tanks also underwent some alterations. A number of vehicles have been remade in HD quality. First of all, we should note the Soviet Premium SU-12244 and the legendary KV-2. 
the characteristics of some vehicles were significantly improved. For example, the AMX 5120, AMX 50B, and VK 28.01 had their elevation and depression angles increased. Owners of premium vehicles will also see pleasant changes. The British FV 4202 had its speed increased by 5 km per hour, and its profitability has increased by 10%. The STA 2 has received a new engine, which now allows the vehicle to drive at 55 km per hour. The French M4A1 Révélarissé has also been equipped with a new, more powerful engine. We have increased its elevation and depression angles and decreased the aiming time and shell dispersion. The Chinese WZ-111 received improved front armor, gun characteristics, and engine power. Now it aims more quickly and fires more accurately. As for the T-34, we've improved the stabilization, aiming time, and view range issues. The German Luva tank now boasts increased armor, a more powerful engine, and a main gun with increased depression angles. Another German tank, the Panther 88, has become more mobile and maneuverable. Its engine's power has increased by 100 horsepower, and the turning speed of its running gear has increased by 40 degrees per second. The Super Pershing's penetration capability with standard shells has been increased from 160 70 millimeters to 192 millimeters. The M46 Patton KR has received improved turret armor. We continue to improve the characteristics of premium vehicles, but we don't forget about other tanks. We've implemented configuration presets for 5.1 and 7.1 surround systems. Now, players with these systems will be able to immerse themselves in the atmosphere of real tank battles. We've also added sound effects for the auto-aim feature. Events for locking, releasing, and losing the target are followed not only by a voice notification, but also by specific sounds. It will help players use the auto-aim option more effectively. We've remastered the sounds for the system of collision with indestructible objects. The new sounds are more lifelike and realistic. Additionally, players will now be informed about the amount of damage done. The new year is coming, and we'd like to celebrate it with you. From December 16th to January 16th, the Holiday Ops event will take place in the game client, where you'll be able to get wonderful presents such as consumables, personal reserves, slots in the garage, female crew, premium account time, and more importantly, discounts for Swedish tank destroyers. Don't miss your chance. That's all for now. We wish you a happy new year. Play and win. Good luck on the battlefield.